Well, with all the silly season news, drivers going to different places, new faces and new places, there was actually a couple of drivers who actually re-signed one right before the race weekend and then one just earlier today. Let's talk about the two re-signs we had with Eric Jones and Daniel Suarez. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. Like I mentioned at the top, there's been a lot of silly season moves that have been going on over the last couple weeks. We actually had two drivers that re-signed to their current team. Let's start with the driver that actually re-signed right before the race weekend before Richmond, that being Daniel Suarez with Trackhouse. There's been a lot of questions about Daniel Suarez re-signing and the overall future of the driver lineup over at Trackhouse because they have a couple of drivers in the pipeline, including Shane Van Gisbergen and Zane Smith. So there was a lot of questions going into our current season if Daniel Suarez would re-sign for 2025, if Trackhouse would even give him the offer. Well, earlier on in the year, in probably the most epic finish of the season, really depending on what you like and who's your favorite driver, at Atlanta we had an epic finish, a three-wide finish, where Daniel Suarez got his first win of the year, also locking up a playoff spot. And after that race, Justin Marks confirmed to everybody that they were going to re-sign Daniel Suarez and they would announce a deal very soon. Well, that was all the way back in March. So a lot of people, including myself, were a little bit concerned if Daniel Suarez was going to get re-signed by Trackhouse. Of course, with most NASCAR contracts, we don't really know a lot of the details, but we do know that it's a one-year deal, which... Is it, first of all, it's not that surprising with, like I said, you got Shane Van Gisbergen potentially moving up to Cup next season with maybe Trackhouse, maybe Colleg, maybe a different team, then maybe trying to bring in Zane Smith. You also got Connor Zilich coming up through the ranks pretty quickly. You also got, I think they have Brent Cruz as well, a very young race car driver with a lot of talent. So it makes sense that... Daniel Suarez is only on a one-year deal next year, but the second thing I have to say when it comes to it, it's very unfortunate. Daniel Suarez, I feel like most of his career, it's been one-year deal after one-year deal after one-year deal. And I feel like here at Trackhouse, it's been the first place where that wasn't necessarily the case. But if, like I said, I get it with Suarez. Suarez has been... Out of him and Chastain, he's been the worst performer overall out of the two. I think this season they've been pretty even. Both of them have been average at best, I'd say. But Daniel Suarez does have that win. And he seems to work really well with the team. So I think Trackhouse, Justin Marks, and everyone over there are going to try their best to keep Suarez there for another year and see if it works out. I've said it here before, Suarez is one of my favorite drivers. I'm a big fan of him, and he needs to pick it up. He's had an okay season, but not good enough, in my opinion, to keep his seat. He's, he's going to be on the hot seat again next season, so we'll have to see how he performs next year, but at least he can focus on the playoffs and the rest of this season. And then another driver that re-signed and he was announced earlier today. I'm recording this on Tuesday. That being Eric Jones re-signing with Legacy Motor Club to drive the legendary 43. We do know that this is a multi-year deal. We don't know if it's a two-year, three-year, four. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know exactly how many years. We know it is a multi-year deal for Eric Jones re-signing with legacy motor club and overall i think this is a really good move jones has not performed as well as i expected him to coming into this year i actually penned him to 
go into the playoffs, make the playoffs. If you ever saw my playoff prediction video, he was that 16th guy I put in, I'm pretty sure. Now, looking back on it, I'm not that surprised because John Hunter's been struggling as well. Eric Jones, I think, has been the more consistent driver of the two. But with Legacy Motor Club, all the changes that they've done over the last, I'd say, maybe four or five seasons, they've changed ownership so many times. And now this year, they decided to make the jump over to Toyota. Unlike 2311, a lot of you noticed with 2311, they were pretty much able to hit the ground running. Obviously, they weren't extremely quick at first. They, they were able to have pretty decent speed from the get-go with Bubba Wallace, and that speed increased throughout the years because of that relationship with Joe Gibbs Racing. Essentially, Legacy is going into this raw. They have a little bit of help when it comes to Toyota and their resources, but they don't get as much help and as resources as a Joe Gibbs Racing or a 2311 gets. So it's a lot more difficult for Legacy to find that speed. I was honestly expecting them for I was expecting them to have a little bit more speed just because I haven't seen a Toyota struggle in the Cup Series in quite a long time and it's proof that Joe Gibbs do a really good job with their Toyota program. They work really well with Toyota and I think over the next couple of years Legacy Motor Club will continue to improve and I think that's the whole idea on why they want to re-sign Eric Jones because I personally consider if we're just talking pure raw stock car talent I consider Eric Jones a top 10 driver in the cup series and he, he could also really help develop and mold John Henry Nemechek and the rest of that team because I do know that they want to grow as they were looking in to purchasing one of these available charters from Stuart Haas. Ultimately, it looks like they probably won't, but they did have an interest, so I do know that they want to grow that organization to a three or four car team at some point. Overall, I think this both of these moves by both Trackhouse and Legacy Motor Club are Good moves. I think both of these drivers fit really well with their teams. And honestly, I think they just do a great job when it comes to chemistry within their organization. They're also a good face of the organization as well. I think Suarez and Chastain have been have done a very good job of kind of splitting on being the face. It's obvious Chastain has been the better performer out of the two, but they've both kind of been the face of that organization and Eric Jones has done a great job in the number 43 as well. But give me your thoughts down below. What do you think about both Daniel Suarez and Eric Jones re-signing? Honestly, I'm not that surprised about Eric Jones. I'm a Suarez fan, but I am a wee bit surprised about the Daniel Suarez re-signing. Honestly, I thought he was probably going to go somewhere else, but I'm glad to see that he's returning. But give me your thoughts down below about both Suarez re-signing with Trackhouse, and Jones re-signing with Legacy. Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week, but that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.